Look at this. What is my life? Hey guys, it's me. Today, I literally just realized that I'm missing a pad. Okay, so this pad went over here, so now I have to move it back. I am very, very stressed out. I'm in the process of moving. I have to be out of this apartment by next week. There's a huge pile of laundry that I haven't done, and I don't see the point in me doing laundry if I'm just going to be moving. And mentally, I'm unwell. But I figured since I already filmed my lower body workout, I could film an upper body workout today. Today I'm going to be training back. I remember I used to only train glutes and legs, but now I'm like, you know, I want the whole package. I used to be one of those girls who did not train upper body. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to be bulky, but I don't want to be muscular. <sighs> Trust me, you're not. This is the limited edition um, Oxytread Gummy Snake. It's kiwi strawberry, I think, and it tastes really good. Yeah. I think I've said this before. Fat burner is usually it helps increase your heart rate during your exercise. So the more your heart rate increases, the more calories you burn. Head over to HP Labs and you can use my code at checkout. Mooked at 10. Saves you 10%. Ready to go. I am wearing... The Alphalete Amplify collection from head to toe. All of my outfit deeds will be linked down below if you're interested. Just got to the gym and I freaking realized that I forgot to wear sunscreen. I'm such an idiot. Okay, we're going to start off with a super set. First, we're doing a lat pull down. We're going to be doing like a wide grip lat pull down. I'm going to be doing reps of 12 to 15. And then the next, um, the next exercise is going to be a close grip lat pull down, reps of 12 to 15 again. For the close grip lat pull down, I'm going to be lowering the weight so you can choose the weight that you're most comfortable with. I usually do wide grip lat pull down 70 pounds and then I think close grip lat pull down between 55 or 60 pounds. Again, reps of 12 to 15 and I do three sets total. I just want to say that it takes a long, long time for the definitions in my back to actually make an appearance. Like it took me years of training. I feel like I've been seriously training back for three years now. My point is to not be afraid to train upper body. Like, no, you're not going to be training back a couple times and then you're going to wake up and be like the Hulk or you're going to wake up and be bulky. It really doesn't work that way. A lot of gym newbies tend to underestimate how hard gaining muscle actually really takes. It takes a long, long freaking time. If it was that easy, literally everyone at the gym would be looking like superheroes by now, but it doesn't work that way. Your training is important. Your nutrition is important. Your rest and recovery is important. There's so much that goes into it. Make sure your core is engaged. You wanna be slow and controlled and see how I'm kind of leaning my back slightly in a diagonal direction. I'm not just sitting upright, but kind of leaning back a little bit. I wanted to show you the difference between slow and controlled versus just going with momentum and being sloppy. 
Also, using momentum isn't necessarily bad. There's always a time and place for it. But I always try to focus on having proper form to fatigue the muscle instead of just kind of like swinging the weights around, trying to impress other people by how much I can lift. Next, I'm moving on to this cable seated row. I'm going to be doing a couple of row variations. The first thing is I'm using this handle. I don't know what it's called, but that's what it looks like. And I'm going to be doing 12 to 15 reps, sets of three. And when I rest, I know you guys have asked me like how long do I rest? I usually rest between like around two minutes-ish and I basically just space out. If you feel kind of like awkward that you're just kind of sitting there, you could use a timer to really time yourself and then just stare at that. But most of the time I just space out during my rest. Okay, now we're working on our last set. Next exercise is this seated row machine. I am using 110 pounds total. I'm going to be doing like, um, instead of doing both, wait, what the fuck am I saying? Instead of doing like both arms at the same time, I'm just going to be doing like single arm just because I feel like it gives me more control. These exercises primarily focus on growing your lats to create that V shape in the back, which I personally like. So it helps you shape more like an hourglass shape instead of like more of like a rectangle shape because I was born as a freaking rectangle and then I started training my back, which I think really improved my physique.
I spent about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes at the gym and at this point I was already super tired like I could feel my muscle already fatiguing and then rest sometime I get really hungry at the gym so I would usually buy like a bar at the counter and then I would eat it I can't keep working out when I'm hungry. Like when I'm hungry, it's game over. I either need food now or I'm gonna go get food. Okay, back to work. Last set is always the hardest. Next, we're doing the front lat pull down machine. I think I have 40 pounds each on each side, so 80 pounds. Again, 12 to 15 reps, sets of three. And I'm speeding this clip up because this video is already so long and I don't want it to be that long, so. Last exercise is cable lat pull down. Yes, there's a lot of lat exercises in this video. I love training lats. I think for this I only did like 10 reps instead of 12 to 15 because I was so freaking tired at this point. Okay, so for your back in this exercise, you want to make sure that your spine is neutral. Like, you know how when we try to make our butt look bigger? Like, don't do that. Kind of tuck in our pelvis and make sure that our spine is nice and neutral. Last set, I could only do eight. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I was done. <laughs> Back check, but I'm going to say goodbye. Later, bitches. See you in my next one.